last 35 have felt just like not bad, but just like so tough. Yeah. You know? yeah. Tim. Griff. Nice to meet you. Griff. Griff. Yeah. Nice to meet you. After the first four or five holes, I just felt really comfortable with my game and where I was at. You know, I've been putting a lot of work in, just trying to dial a few things in, and I think it all kind of came together, which was nice today. And then, you know, whenever you're out there playing well and, and going low, I just, I really just wanted to keep going. When was the first time something like under 60 entered your mind? Uh, I'd say going to the back nine. But at the same time, I'm really just still trying to hit every shot, just stay really patient and, and present out there. He actually didn't know he shot 58 when he walked off. He that asked you me, guys um, what did I shoot? What was that? <laughs> what was that? 58, buddy. <laughs> he was in his own, so it was fun to see. It was a very similar momentum today to yesterday. The greens are very similar to where I'm from in Arizona. So I'm pretty comfortable on it. I made some really good putts on the, on the back nine on 12 and 13, like 20 footers. And that's kind of my, my bread and butter. I thought I was maybe around 61 or two. I kind of was just not paying attention. It was really just just a battle. I felt like you know I was hitting a lot of good shots where I was looking and wasn't able to capitalize on some of them, and then a few that just didn't really go my way and gave a couple back. You know, the first hole I obviously drove the green, which is sweet. Two didn't make birdie. Hit a fairly decent shot on three. Didn't make birdie. Hit a good shot on four. Didn't make birdie and then bogeyed five. So then I was like, man, I hit all these good shots. And I'm you know back even. But I mean that's kind of how days like this are. When it when it gets this windy, I think you know you can hit a lot of good shots, but you still have to make all the putts, and when you're, you know, almost blown over out there, it gets a little tougher, and then you're kind of factoring in things. Sometimes I feel like the wind almost helps. Like the wind helps all of these. Yeah, it does. Like the wind the helps. The whole backside. Yeah, like the whole back. I feel like the wind is very I agree generous. I was really happy with how we finished. I mean, burning the final three. Happy to finish strong and look forward to tomorrow. A lot happened today. I feel okay with how it ended up. My driver broke on the fifth hole, so it was just kind of hard adjusting to that. It was tough putting out there today. It was windier today than it has been all week, which is saying something. So, and that affected some of my putting. Um, but 17, I made a really good putt that was huge to, to not make a double bogey. I think it was helpful to get out there today and get this kind of, get everything going on and all the, the pressure from today out of the way. and. and uh, 
I think I'll be able to to chase a little bit tomorrow and, and get more comfortable and shoot and score. I was trying to just, you know, obviously still try to be aggressive and make birdies, but just a little smarter. I mean, be a little more mindful of my shots and really make sure I'm committed uh, in the wind, especially when it's swirling and changing a lot. It's can get easy to, um, you know, change clubs or kind of doubt your decision. But I feel like I was very comfortable out there today and just try to commit to every shot and uh, execute it pretty good. Wind kind of downed out a little bit on the back nine and I had some, you know, good eagle looks and good birdie looks. Don't make a birdie for a few holes. I know I'm, you know, confident in my game that I can, you know, get started a couple holes later. And, but it's always nice to get a few in to kind of build that momentum. Yeah. It's been a long day. We've been up for 13 hours. 13 and a half. 13 hours grinding. Let's go get one more right here. Nice to end with a little bird there, too. It's fun. Yeah, fun playing with you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you, buddy. Good job, man. Good work. Coming into this week, I kind of had the mindset, of course, I want to come out and compete, but no matter what happens this week, I still, you know, had a great week last, you know, week winning. You know, knowing I can win and compete out here, just that helps a lot. Not worrying too much about the result. Just trust in my game and see what happens. Start us up big, right? Very thankful for that. Appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. Well, play well. Yes, sir. Tim. Hey, Tim. Malcolm you. Holland. Welcome. Nice Welcome. to meet you. Awesome. Thank you for hosting this event. Good. Well, thank, thank you guys you. for playing. You guys play well today. Yes, sir. From Jankoping, Sweden, Tim Beating. Coming here Monday night, I was just you know, still trying to soak in what I just did last week. I was just playing very relaxed and having a lot of fun out there on the course. And I think that helped a lot with the nerves, especially today. After nine holes, both Frankie and Trent uh, played amazing golf, and uh, that kind of kept me just very focused and kind of on my own game. Hole 10, you know, Frankie missed his birdie putt, so I think I went four up on, on him after that, and Trent, because Trent eagle too. But after that eagle putt, you know, a four shot lead, uh, kind of gave me a little bit cushion. After 14, uh, I knew it was a little downhill, but in my head, I just wanted to make it real bad. Um, and I think I just hit it, obviously hit a little too hard. But I was still pretty calm over that second putt. I hit a good putt. Surprisingly went left on me and lipped out. But then I'm really proud of how I handled that. You know, I kind of laughed it off. I was able to get back-to-back -back birdies, six, uh, 15 and 16.
hedge fund? That's perfect. Yeah. We even follow yeah. the yeah. Yeah. hedge fund. We're just going right there. Same right. thing with that. Let's go. With the slope, 255 meters? 255? Yes, sir. It's going to be nice having two weeks off now to kind of process what just happened the last two weeks. Obviously, PD Tour has always been a dream since I started playing golf, but yeah, we're not there yet. I mean, it's easy to kind of look ahead and, you know, uh, but I'm just trying to be here right now and enjoy this moment and see wherever it takes me. Hey. So, yeah. Easy game for Mr. Tim Wadding right now, boys. Get that on three. Easy game. Tim, did you get it? But our champion of the Veritex Bank Championship for 2024 is Tim Deaton. Winning is great, but to see myself out there on, under the gun to be able to do those things we talk about is um, what I'm most proud of.